Hello and welcome back to another episode of Truck and Logistics Simulator and today is New Truck Day. That's right. We've had some fun in our pickup truck. I'm probably going to be having some fun in the pickup truck in between episodes as well, but it's time to change it out and get a new one. So let's hop into the garage. Go to garage, go to store. Do, 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 do. So we own a pickup. We own a minivan. We own a drop side van. This one's ours. And we own a rigid truck. We've got the Scania. So last time out, I was talking about trucks. So this is the one that I think looks like it might be. This is either like an, a Renault or an maybe an old Mercedes. I think this one looks like a Mercedes. I think that's what that is. And then you can see here. This is, uh, I'll get rid of me. This is what we can pull with this one. But then, if we go over a little bit further, this Scania can pull the same. This one's bigger. This can pull bigger loads. So it shows you like the vehicles that you can get on there. And then if I go back again, sorry. Different vehicles go on. Different machinery. And you can get the big dump truck with these ones. And there's the Scania option. And there's the man. You got the smaller man, big man. And the, the what I'm calling the Mercedes, the, the would be Actros. Cars. They're still there. We've not we don't own a car yet. So they're not really of a great deal of use. They're quite expensive. 70 grand for the car. 30 grand for a truck. A hundred grand. For our wannabe Range Rover. 168 grand for what's that? Camry? Is that what that is? is? That Camry? I'm pretty sure they race them in NASCAR, my friend. Perhaps we should get one of them. 760 horsepower. Yes, we need one of them in this game. That's that's the goal. We need that much money. Uh, but what we're gonna go for is the panel van. <laughs> <laughs> the transit van if it was Ford it would be a transit van and we're going to go with the man because it is clearly based more on a realistic van than the other are they they carry the same loads it's only 23 grand so it's not a big hit we should make this money back this episode hopefully pretty much and then obviously by the time we've done the next two ep two um deliveries we're trying to do four deliveries by the time we've done the next two deliveries we should have made that money so I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to purchase it. I'm going to go paint it. And then we'll get going. So there it is. Much like our, our man um, dropside van. Which is quite literally what this is by the looks of it. It's the chop it off. Change the trailer. Um, yeah, same same look. So that's what we've got. If I go to the dropside van. Then go to my panel van. Shame it doesn't load me on the one I want. I think this is maybe not as dark. Now it is. <laughs> so anal. Right, let's drive. Let's go get some deliveries done. Sorry, you caught me um, having a refreshment as we bounced in. I thought the load screen was going to be longer than that. So here we are. Man in a van, and we're in a proper van now. We can... We can do we, we do some sort of house removals, do some clearances, we'll move your bed for you, that sort of thing. We are all about it. Oh, a shame we can't get out and have a little look. I wonder if there is something up there. I'm intrigued now. All right, let's have a little look in it. I think that is mu this is much the same as the rigid, isn't it? I think this is exactly the same as the rigid. I'm not going to complain. You can see right through. Right, let's go and have a little look for a jobby in the map. Where can we go? We'll go over here. We'll set that just to make sure. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to go out there somewhere and get some fuel. Don't want to get caught out. We almost got caught out with the... With the oh, hello. <laughs> with the pickup truck. <laughs> uh, just to let everyone know that I'm coming out at like four in the morning. I've got to turn... Oh, there's no no turning left. Oh, that's alright. We've got to turn right anyway. I'll take that. That's fine. That's fine, because that's where I want to go. 
I'm gonna go get some gasolina. That song was big when I was in my uh, in my younger days. Just so you know. Still, uh, 175 per litre, and that's 113 creditos that we have here. Sp spending creditos on our gasolina. So we can't turn... Oh, we've got to turn the engine on. Can't turn left there. This is the... Uh, I think we're going to have to break the rules because... We want to go round everywhere. It's nice that we can see the lights coming... Mate, stop, 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 stop. Come on. It's my new van, mate. My new van. What a bell. Yeah, you can see the lights coming through, <laughs> through the side panel. So we knew there was traffic coming in the other direction. 100% my fault. I'm going the way I shouldn't be. But, you know. Having fun, weren't we? We've already, you know, spent time buying the new vehicle and saying hello. We need to get on the job. It's this way. Caravans. We did caravans last time. We did the big caravan. And then we pulled some bricks. Oh, doing the bricks is fun. I think once we finish the series, I'm just going to be pulling bricks all the time on this game. I hope there's an achievement for pulling copious amounts of bricks. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go for a straight up load in the back to start with. Uh, we'll take a hefty size delivery because that's going to earn us the most money. Looks like that's gone down to a dead end quarry as well, but we'll take it because it's nearly eight grand and it's two. Are they bigger? Oh, they're bigger. Nice, 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 nice. They're saving, they're saving the very because there's no reason why these didn't go in the um, rigid box trailer. Friend of the channel, Lin Yuen, want to know if there were um, tires. He wants to be able to chuck tires because he delivers tires in the back of his van. I think he would have been interested if they did tires. Can't even see where my van is now. I'll tell you what, I'm making good. Getting good. Nice. So the next one goes in the side. They'll open the side panel door for us. Looks like that post might be in my way, but we'll do what we can. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. Yeah, well, I can get this in. Oh, not very well at all. Now, am I not high enough, or am I too far over? So I can't see. What do you think the problem is, people? Not far enough. Over. I thought it was too far over. <laughs> Not far high enough. Okay. There we go. Had to give in and uh, go out a cab. It's a shame about that ring. That'd make a nice, uh, nice screenshot if not. All locked up, all in, ready to go. Let's go. Back in the van. Is the. Uh, Oh, they're still there, in it? Yeah. We might be able to get... It's a little bit... bit, <laughs> bit sun ray, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. We'll get a screenshot later. <laughs> that sun was not nice. Right. Back on it, back on it. Let's, let's mark malarkey. Let's mucking about and larking about. And I came up with some sort of malarkey. Brains. Funny things. Funny things to the point that I can't remember if I said thank you for coming back. Thank you for joining me on this journey 
of trucks and logistics. It's a funny one. Wow, man, look at him. Look at the lean on that, son. <laughs> Go again. Go again. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's just too good. Oh, dear. What was that? That's some crazy speed. He gripped, though, didn't he? He didn't, he didn't slip and slide. He went for it. So I'll uh, credit where credit's due. He had that under control. Just jealous, am I? But yeah, thank you very much. Hope you are enjoying the series. Um, as you can tell, I hope you can tell as I'm doing this. I'm thoroughly enjoying my time here. It's a bit of a wacky one. It's strange. Strange. I love the loading. I love that you get to load stuff up. I've really enjoyed the different loading styles and I you know, admittedly I wish there was a little bit more variety in in the goods. But what we're doing and how we're doing it is is very fun. Very simplistic. It's just it's just easy to do. And I just I don't think you can grumble at that. Nice why should games always have to be hard? Why can't they just be fun sometimes? Sometimes they can just be fun. Just do it for fun. And that's what this is. You know, um, when I was when I was watching, I am still watching by this time this comes out. I, I, I'm guessing he will have finished his series with it. But whilst watching um, Ellipse Gamer play this, like, he's, like, one of the things he kept saying was that it's, it's fun to play. It doesn't matter. Like I keep saying, it doesn't matter if it's not the most realistic simulator. Because ultimately, this is a fun game to play. It really is. And I don't know if it comes across enough. And then I worry that if I keep saying that it's fun, I'm having fun. Am I forcing it on you to think, oh, he's having fun, but he keeps saying it. So he's not. Honestly, <laughs> I've a good time playing this. Watch my other content and tell me how often you see me smile as much as I smile playing this. This is, this is such a good time game. Like, I'm not stressing it. I'm not worried about anything while I play this. I really aren't. Just just enjoying it. It's like the complete 30 minutes when I do this. It's like 30 minutes of <laughs> proper relaxation and unwind. And honestly, that is what your games should be a large part of the time. If you live a busy life, if you're busy working, if you're busy with children, if you're busy with a house, if you've got, you know, other things going on in your life, your games are there to escape. Your games are there to relax, enjoy, and get away from it. And honestly, whilst playing this, I am doing all of those things. Doing all of those things. And when I first saw this game, you know, three, four years ago, it really didn't look like the sort of game that I would. Although, you know, it's the, it's the delivery simulator, it's the job simulator, it's the life simulator in that sense. And they are what I enjoy. Knowing its roots, knowing that it's published by Aerosoft, this was never going to be a game I touched. So again, if I haven't said it enough, thanks to Ellipse Gamer, like I say, someone that I have watched on and off for the last two and a half, three years. Um, thanks for covering this game. Thanks for putting it in good light and being honest about it. Because, yeah, mate, I thoroughly enjoyed this. And if you're still keeping up to date with my series, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the fruits of that. Um, that your work has then gone on to, you know, have, help someone else have a good time again with games. And uh, that's what all this should be about. All, all this content creating stuff, all this YouTube stuff should be about having fun having fun with other people and showing other people what things can be fun and what's worth spending your time doing because I also watch a chap called Couch Coop and I love Couch Coop he's so dry, he's so wee the man loves a souls like he loves a souls like, he's a souls like king and all credit where credit's due. I, I am terrible at them games. I gave up playing, trying to play Souls games after uh, Dark Souls 2 because it was just, I'm just so bad. Um, but yeah, like, so if I was to sit and try and complete a Dark Souls game for you guys, 
that would probably be the most depressing time of my life because I'm just not good at them. This is fun because it's simple and it suits me. We've got to get around this guy. He's not moving. You're not moving. Come on, get out of the way. Yeah, if you like a variety of games, uh, CouchCoop does um, game reviews. He doesn't do um, Let's Play gaming content or anything like that. Game reviews, uh, his own opinion on them. And yeah, he's really dry, really witty. He's, he's articulate, he's smart. Um, I couldn't recommend him enough to anyone. Anyone who's uh, a mature gamer, you got a bit of that dark side in you. It's not just Souls this games that he plays. He, he covers all games, mainly um, co-op games, uh, but he also does single-player games, games that are on PlayStation, a lot of PlayStation stuff, but PC and Game Pass games he covers. Yeah, you check him out. I might chuck a chuck a couch coop uh, link down in the description to this one if I remember after editing. If not, go find him. It's couch coop. Other than that little bang at the beginning after the uh, the petrol station fiasco, it's been a nice little little drive. This it does feel a little bit different from driving the drop side, which admittedly was a while ago, but it doesn't feel it's, although it's fundamentally like the same same vehicle, isn't it? Just without the without the drop side and we're loading, but it might be because we pretty much did everything on the drop side towing a trailer which was a bit weird and having you know a sizable load in the back of the van we've got a little bit of weight to us I guess we, we, we're taller I don't know how smart the game is, I don't know whether the height and the stability of are, are a thing that's going to affect us Little cobble road here. We need another load screen so I can have a sip of drink because I am getting very, very cotton mouth this evening. Very dry. Where are we going? Are we going up to a castle? I think we've delivered up here before. I think I recall driving up here. A little bit like a nutter if this is that same one. Could possibly be. So here we can see the built-up city over there. Is that the right way? Probably not. Over there? Yeah, that'll be right. I flipped my camera uh, for the video, because if not I'd look like I'm always looking outside of the game and not at the game. Just because of the way I sit and my camera sits. But I think it's I think I think I'm pointing the right way on the point. Going to the castle. I don't think we have been to the castle. Ooh, ooh. Castle force, not parcel force. Castle force. Look at that. That's cool. And we're going in the, going in the castle. Oh, there's got to be. There has to be a box around the castle, doesn't there? There has to be a golden pick. Oh, we're going in. We're actually going in. We're going in the castle. I don't know why I'm excited about that. This arch is so <laughs> tight. Oh, feeling stressed. There is. We're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. There had to be one up there somewhere. Beautiful. Should be two and a half grand, I think. E grand. Nice. We'll take that. Because this was this a seven grand delivery, so it's ten grand for this so far. Don't really grumble at that. Are we not in the box? Clearly not. It's the first time we've not registered on a backup. Not bad for like our twentieth delivery, I think. Maybe more. Plus the ones that I do off screen. Not that there's been many of them lately. So eight grand for that, plus three grand. Eleven grand delivery. 
We're back up to 69 grand. Back up to nearly 70 grand. Go on, lad. So do you think... Do you think there's another one around the back? Could there possibly be... Another... Cheeky box? Oh. Please be. Please be another one. Oh, oh. This is not where you want to be going in a transit. Oh, there's not. There's not. Too much to ask for. Too much to ask for. Just got greedy, didn't I? Got greedy. Should we look at a cab? Now, since you can, you can go off road, so you could get in, and I'd say, I would say the pickup, and just hoss about in all that. There is fun to be had in this game for those that just like to roam around and do crazy stuff. That's not necessarily my style of play, but if you like doing that, you could do it here. Oh, mate. I still think I'm going to get around up here. I may have to <laughs> teleport to garage. I don't think there's enough earth. Oh, there might be. There might be enough earth under this truck <laughs> to get me round here. Oh, did it. Right. <laughs> Brilliant. Love it, love it, love it. Let's head into the map. Let's uh, locate ourselves our next pickup. Yeah, we'll go there, we'll go there. It's fine, it's fine. Right, let's go. I will, to keep this uh, short, I will um, bring you back as we arrive. But when I'm coming in our... I put you worked in. Now entering our city, we just came in past the um, caravan site where we dropped off our first caravan. No one coming in there. Nope. Right. So, straight on down should pretty much be our place. So we'll have a little look up these these um, greenhouses, these little grow arches and see if there's another box up one of them as well. Sneaky peek. Let's see what we can find. Come on. Sort of learning the places where they tend to be now. Although, would it be too obvious to stick one or two or three in the same sort of place? Probably. Probably asking a bit too much. Yeah, I have. I said I might have a look at a map and or a video and see if someone's done it. I haven't even looked to see if that's a thing yet. I'd rather just stumble across them. To be fair, more fun. So we've done two in the back. So see shares <laughs> what she said right so what can we what can we do what can we do what can we do weight's the same that's the weight's the same that's just pulling that isn't it so two thousand kilos so i think that might be on there plus two in the back that's got greater weight where's it going well, that's quite a delivery as well that's that might make this a bit of a long one if I do that. Let's see if we can just find a shorter one. Doing a similar sort of thing. That's it. That's what we want. Because we've got to do the load in anyway. So that's what we'll go with. We'll go with that one. Uh, 2,200 kilograms. So looking at our setup, we have two large boxes for the van. And two for the trailer. The van is first. By the looks of it. Well, that one went in nice and smooth. Hopefully, we can get the second one in smooth as well. Right side door has opened up for us. That's where we go. <clears throat> but you mustn't forget that a big part of the game is this. This is its draw. This is the thing that's different about this to everything else. Don't sleep on the loading bit. 
This is where the fun's. <laughs> this is where the fun's at. This is where the party's at, kids. Stuffing it in the back. Nice. Nice. So now the trailer back has dropped for us. Look at these maneuvers. Man's on fire. Oh. Bit forks down, mate. There we go. There. Numero uno. We got you have to lift this one up a little bit. If not, it doesn't go in. Job. I think the new van episodes are normally a little bit longer, obviously, because you have to do the whole new van bit. Beautiful stuff, right. Start her up. This one's just a little trip up the road, it's not far. Go. Let's have a little look at that. Does that make a better thumbnail? Maybe that might do. Should we? I'm actually going to snap it as well. You might even see it. You might not. Some, sometimes the overlay captures. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm a <laughs> I'm a master at the setup like that. So this is our way out by the looks of it. So we came in though, is it? We came in over there. Yeah, over there, that you can't see it now. Fence. The fence looks a bit dropped, like it's a gate. It could, po it could possibly be the way in, and this is the way out. But let's do this nice and sensibly, since we've got quite the load on. Now, this is only a short payout. I think it's less than two grand, but we're only we are quite literally going up the road with it. Indicates they know where we're going. Let the other road users know it's the thing to do. We might only just be going to the farm. No, we're going a bit going a bit further than the farm, I think, but not much further. We might be going up to the caravan site. Could be where we're going. Which way are you going, mate? So I'm going straight. Are you going straight? No. Good. Good, good, good. Perhaps we dropped off some goodies to the holiday park. It looks like it. It's a shame that it doesn't tell you where you're going. I know a lot of these places don't have names. But I think that's... You know, the more that I'm playing, that's something that I'm missing. Not knowing what all my loads are. A lack of load variety... And that nowhere's got a name. We're not, you know, going anywhere. That would be nice. And I, I said before, like, I, I get why we don't necessarily have the names, and I get why we don't necessarily have a set currency. It leaves it open to interpretation. You can be anywhere you like. As long as it's not the UK, because we don't drive on that side of the road. Ooh, well. What am I hitting something? Um. Okay, that's, that might be an issue for us. We've got our first glitch. Come on, get out. It's got stuck in the map. Let's see if we can um, push that out. No, 
That might be out. That might be out. First little glitch. As long as we can get it out, it's not too bad. It's if it's stuck in there and you can't move it, then you then you've had it. So there's still a little bit of map work needed. Right, so we're gonna have to take that. Should we get back in? Back in gap. Make that a little bit better than what we did. Shameful. Is I can't see where I'm turning into from here. I don't want it to get stuck again, that's the trouble. I don't think that's going in. We're going to have to come out of cab for this, I think. Well, it's doing a little bit better than like, oh, I'll take it if, I, if that'll take that. And it's given us a parking bonus. We'll take it. That was a bit of a weird one. Yeah, our first screw-iffy job. But like I say, we will take that. That is um, 1300 And we're back up to 70 grand now. I am just going to move the van. Because I don't want to leave it there. And then um, get stuck. To be fair. That's not what I want. But on the dodgy one... That's where we're going to leave it today. Another new van, another new truck, another new vehicle. Delivery's done, money made. We'll go out again in the panel van, in the tranny van, and we'll do two more jobs next time out, maybe three. We'll see how far they go and what we're doing. And then we'll have to check, see how much money we've got as to what we're going to purchase next time. But hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. If you wish to support the channel, we do have memberships. Just hit join. They start from 99 pence. Super cheap. All the support and all the help is greatly appreciated. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.